Hi viewer, thank you for joining me again today on Dave the Fuggy Vapor. And as you will have seen from the description and the flash before the video, I'm doing five juices, five juices today from the Isle of Custards. Um, for those of you who don't know about the Isle of Custards, where have you been? Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, let me just get some information for you. Um, they have all of the juices are set all of their juices are 70 VG 30 PG they're available in three and seven milligram they're available in 10 mil bottles for four pounds 30 mil bottles for 10 pounds 50 and 11 110 mils for 26 pounds plus I'm almost certain three pounds delivery raw mail uk they do ship worldwide so if you want worldwide costs just go on the website click all link in the description that one's not clickable um and everything else you need to know about the olive custard will be in the description timings and so on um but as the name suggests they're heavily into custards and custard varieties custard flavors custard mixes um they do now offer like a lot of other companies concentrates so if you want to get yourself a concentrate and then mix your own you can do uh, i can't speak for the concentrates i've not tried them i've only tried the juices this is the last one of the pirate custards i've done three other videos of the custards and i've done the um captain's breakfast table varieties uh, so these are the last five so i'll try and get through them as quick as i can bit of a you'll notice in a minute when i get the video goes on i've got a different dripper now because i recorded this bit and the first couple of juices earlier on and then found out that i the sound was all screwed up so i had to do it again so moving swiftly on the first one of the five is called bull's custard the focus camera no don't be silly fuggery don't be silly okay let's do it manually then shall we i'm sure you can see that anyway but yeah it's called bull's custard so there we go balls custard so i'm going to be starting off at uh, 3.7 this is the same type of dripper as the others so i will be using the same this is a this is a troll the other one's a troll uh, this is the one i used for the rest of the duties um that was a 57 coil this one is a 0.61 so they're very similar um so false custard is described as on the website it says a sweet creamy custard with lashings of burnt sugar guaranteed free from diacetyl acetone and acetyl propionyl so there we have it. Um, I've got single cra single Clapton coil, Clapton coil, <laughs> single Clapton coil, and three point seven, three point seven point yeah, div, three point seven volts is twenty two point five watts. 3.7 coil 22.5 watts and here we go with bull's custard yep i know what i'm tasting because um as i said i've just done a not a, a million minutes ago 
Um, I'm going to take up a 31 watts, which is a focus 4.35 volts. <clears throat> And it is as described on the website. That's a creamy custard with that burnt sugar note. Micro production, as always, is good. Right, so five volts is. 41 watts. So there we have it. Let's just uh, tweak that a little bit. Um, so 5 volts, just see how we're doing with juice. Stick a little more on. Will I? That's not going to well. No, it should be fine now. A little bit in the well. There. So 5 volts, 41 watts. I wouldn't describe it necessarily as sweet. I mean, it's not, yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah, take it all back up here at 41 watt. Um, it's a nice custard. I mean, most of the olive custards that I've tried, I've enjoyed. Some I really, really like a lot. Um, others have been nice, very nice. And some have been a bit, yeah. Um, but we can't like them all, can we? You know? um, this is nice. It's not over the top burnt sugar. It's not, you know, sharp and acrid tasting. It's just nice. And obviously, with a name like Isle of Custards, they've based a lot of their reputation on the fact they've got a custard base. And they can just tweak that up and down. Um, and they seem to have got it right in most cases. In my humble opinion, I'm no expert. I'm just an ordinary bloke who is trying to give you some idea of what these things taste like to me. But I mean, again, it's difficult because we've all got different taste buds and what I might taste, you might not. But as custard vapes go, and for somebody who couldn't get them for a long time, I just couldn't get custards of any, in any form, even a plain custard, I couldn't get them one flavoured custard. Um, <clears throat> but hey, that was some time ago. But yeah, that's... Another nice one from the other custard. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to get this cleaned off, re whipped, come back, and we'll do the next one. So, I'll see you in just a sec. Are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Right. I'm back with number two, which is called. Here we go again. Which is called it's called old salts custard uh, what I didn't mention on the previous juice was that these bottles are just about TPD compliant I mean I know well there was, there was talk of having them having to put contains nicotine in big letters on the bottles, which this hasn't got, whether that's going to be in the TPD when it finally comes into play in November. Proper shit. Um, anyway, it's got a warning triangle on the top, or a raised triangle on the top, not on the bottle. Um, do have tamper evidence seals on them, and they are child proof caps. Or child resistant caps. Um, on the bottles themselves, start with the back, we have ingredients, nicotine, and so on. And then we have 
I change and we have down the bottom there the bottle size 10 30 or 110 mil then we have nicotine strength now on here it says 036 7 11 and 16 forget that they're currently doing just three and seven milligrams of nicotine um because and it says they're 70 30. um the reason they're doing only three and seven milligrams i believe oh, i think i read somewhere on their website that because they're only a small company with all this tpd bullshit and all the hoops they've got to jump through um by cutting down the options of nicotine and, and the, the, the vg pg ratios they've got more chance of staying in business and producing juices um which is good news for those of us who like custom um talk of the website also what i failed to mention last time was that when you do go to the website have a look at the bosun's log because that tends to contain um discount codes um but they tend to be a little bit more interesting in as much they give you a bit of a riddle for you to solve once you've solved the riddle it's only a single word usually um like it might be a case of let's just say um which of the crew has a juice called his nutting bag which is not too hard to find the answers on the website anyway it's also been one of the last juices or the next lot of juices um but look on the website and get a discount code um and then you solve the riddle and put it in a discount code box or coupon whatever, whatever it's called um and then if it's correct it knocks the discount off if it's not try again do it again you, you can have a go as many times as you like to get it right makes no worries. um but they've got an extensive range quite an extensive range and the website's quite interesting they, they They've also they've got custard juices, cereal juices, bundles and specials. They've got guest juices. They've got pirate custards, custard clouds, the captain's breakfast table, guest juices, and, and a whole range of shit. So and the website is quite interesting. The the um, little pictures of the juices are obviously pirate themed, um, and they're quite interesting. You know they're different. So hey, anyway, moving on to old salts custard it's described on the website as a specially luscious vanilla custard with a rich coffee sauce so 3.7 volts is 22.5 watts so here we go Custard is there. I'm not getting toffee yet. I'm going to go to close to 31 or 31 watts. 31 watts is 4.35 volts. As you can see, local production is good. Oh. Can't say. Can't say I've got coffee. It's quite sweet though. Quite sweet on the lips. On the kissing here. Five volts is 41 watts. So let's see what that does for us. Yeah, now we get coffee. Um, like a lot of juices, you, you've got to play around with the the wattage temperature to to get the sweet spot.
this a 41 watts I'm getting a full full maybe three getting the custard and the toffee although it says it's a rich toffee sauce it's not overpowering I, I would describe it as a light toffee sauce it complements the custard lovely so yeah if, if you like toffee and you like custard that's a toffee custard, which is custard with toffee sauce. Um, and it's nice. Would I pay for it all day? I don't know. I'll definitely go in a tank. Sure. Yeah, that is a nice, nice juice. So, two out of two is not bad. So, anyway, I shall get cleaned off, come back, and I should do the next three in a different segment, <laughs> as previously recorded. So, I shall see you in the next one. The next juice, that is. I'll see you shortly. Right, I'm back with number three of five, and it is called camera size to focus today, pieces of eight. Three guesses for what's in here, and the first two don't count. Um, it's one that I'm kind of looking forward to, but not. Um, I've only found one banana custard that I like so far, and that's after almost 12 months of trying lots. And description here says a sweet vanilla custard with ripe bananas and a little dribble of caramel in the bottle. Again, I, I don't pay a lot of attention to what's in the bottle or what's in the, on, how it smells in the bottle or on the wick, but I can tell you that in the bottle it smells very much like banana. On the wick, it's very much like banana. Uh, talking of wicks, what I didn't tell you in case you want to know, I've got a single Clapton coil on here. It's coming out of 0.57. Yeah, 0.57 um, <clears throat> up until last week I did the review of the juice banana custard and up till that point all of the banana custards had fallen just fallen to the wayside because they were either too chemically too harsh too <laughs> just didn't taste right the one that I found was custard with banana, as opposed to bananas with custard. And there is a difference, if you think about it. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping, because it's the Isle of Custard, the focus is on the custard and the banana and the caramel I just added. But we'll see. 3.7 volts is still 24 watts. Here it goes. Now, I haven't vaped any of these until today. Yes, I've opened the tops up and I've smelt them and I've left them in a box. That box. Um, on the shelf for weeks. So, here we go. So far, not too bad. I'm going to take it up to 30 watts. And that's 4.14 volts. If you can perhaps see there. Then we're going to focus. And we're going to do it again. Okay, we're going to do it again. 
we'll go manual then. Why not? I guess she's that one, you fool. There we go. Lose that. Lose that. 30 watts is. Point one four volts. So just shows how how it smells in the bottle can be deceiving because the initial rate was custard. A hint of something, just a hint. This now I've gone up to 30 watts. It's still custard, but now that something has become banana. It's tasting to me, um, you know, the dried banana you get in the health food shops and all that that kind of banana at the moment but i'm going to go up to 35 where i went before with the others try and keep them all the same 35 watts now is 4.47 volts again just put a little drop more on As I did with the previous ones, to give them a chance. Because, you know, I, I, the fact that I've had crap banana custard in the past, and now I know what a banana custard should taste like to me, how I like a banana custard to taste, you might like them over the top banana. To me, I want the banana to be part of something rather than just the main attraction. Again, getting the custard. Banana. Taste has changed slightly. It could be the caramel's kicking in. So let's um, let's rock it up to five volts. See what happens at five volts. Right, <clears throat> forty-three point nine watts. Five volts. Still got bananas, or still got custard and banana. Obviously warmer now, but I can't say I'm getting caramel. It does say a little dribble. I think the caramel is just kind of, I can explain it. I'm getting custard, then the banana, as I said, is like that quite intense dried banana but the caramel if it is the caramel that's doing it it could be the, the, the wattage increase but something has sort of calmed the banana down a little bit so it's not quite so intense but i couldn't sit here hand on heart and say yeah i can taste caramel custard and banana yes so in terms of is that a banana custard fugly? Yes, it is. Is it a decent banana custard fugly? Yes, it is. Um, I don't think it's on the same level as the one I did a few days ago, because that was lovely. It was a really lovely banana custard. This is a nice banana custard. 
it's one that I could bake, and I will bake, and I may even buy it again. But I left it as one of the last ones because, as I said, I've had shit experience with banana custard in the past, so I wanted to leave it till the end, until all the others. But as far as banana custard goes, for me, this is okay. Um, I can, I could, and I will vape it again. I will stick it in a tank at some point and see how it goes. So, if you like banana custard, with a slight sweet edge on this particular setup of 43.9 watts at 5 volts on a 0.57 coil, I'm getting a decent flavour out of it. And I've got warm custard banana and something that's just taking the edge off the banana. So, I'll shut up. <laughs> mm. I'll shut up, go away, re-wick, come back, and then we will do number four, or I'll do number four. And I'll see you shortly. I think we're back. <laughs> I hope we're back anyway. Um, just get that ready. Um, number four is wonderfully named the bosun's nothing bag now there's a bit of a clue in the name and i'm not particularly looking forward to it because description says an exceptionally smooth custard and it's okay blended with peanut butter and a big splodge of toffee now i've never had peanut butter bake for the simple reason that I kind of can't get my head around a peanut butter vape. And I've probably picked the wrong one to try. It's peanut butter and toffee. Now, <clears throat> going back to my youth, um, usually around Christmas time, we used to have a big tray of nut brittle, which is basically toffee with nuts in it. Smashed up nuts, and it was nice. I used to like that. Um, so, yeah, I've had peanuts and toffee before. I've usually chewed them. <laughs> so, anyway, give it a go. Uh, open mind, Mr. Fugly. That's me. Um, 3.7 volts, 24 watts. Here goes. <sighs> Definitely get peanuts. I'm going to take this one gently, 30 watts. But I've got peanut butter, 30 watts is 4.14 volts, should you want to know. There you go. Um, It's, it's surprisingly nice. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. This shows you shouldn't prejudge. Um, let's put a little bit more on. That's nice. I've got the, the peanuts more at the front now, more more stronger than the, the banana flavour, which is good for me. Um, still got the custard and the peanut butter for the peanuts. That was 35. 35 watts, 4.47 volts. Come on. Come on, 4.47 volts. The peanut, peanut surprisingly, has gone down a bit. Back to five volts. Yeah, five volts. 43.8 watts is five volts. Just uh, stuff here. 
Um, That's not quite so peanut you know. Um, and for a big, big, for a big splodge of coffee, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting coffee. Maybe, maybe the juice has become a little more sweet. That is now, for me, a, a nice, rounded, custard and peanut butter plate. I'm again talking. Can't say I am, but as soon as I know it's a peanut butter, Vape Virgin a few minutes ago. Um, I'd certainly vape that. Could I vape it all day? I don't know. I'll put it in a tank, find out. Certainly surprised me. Um, not as weird as it, as it sounded in the description. Um, if you like peanut butter vapes, you'll probably love that one. Um, I could get used to that. That's a nice bite, a very nice bite. Um, yeah, maybe I've got that, that toffee thing. And maybe the toffee, maybe the, what they do with their toffee is they put toffee and caramel in with strong flavours to just tone them down. If that's the objective, then they've achieved it. Because that is a nice bite. Peanuts coming back now. That is a nice vape that I could vape probably all day. Um, it's not too sweet, not too heavy on the peanut. It was initially quite strong peanut, but it's sort of packed off a little bit and there may be a hint of sweet. Oh, yeah, another cracker. So I'll get re wicked to come back with the last one. I'll see you shortly. Right, folks, this one intrigues me. Look at the colour of that juice. Look at the colour in the bowl. You can see that. Whether you can see that. It's took it up halfway. Can you see that? Look at that. Almost black. Um, I've left it till last, as you can see, for the obvious reasons. Um, it's called. Captain's Hot and Sticky Birthday Custard. Um, and yeah, now this one does intrigue me because I'll just tell you what it says on the, on the description. It says the Captain's Hot and Sticky Birthday Custard is an original blend of the finest milk chocolate, fresh mint, and our creamiest custard. We wanted something wonderful to celebrate our first birthday, but this is beyond wonderful and totally unique. Now, it intrigues me because I've had a couple of mint chocolate and mint choc chip bakes. I've had milk chocolate and mint, and I've had dark chocolate and mint. I have to say that my personal preference is the dark chocolate and mint, but hey, opening my mind, I'm going to give it a go. I'll give it a fair go. And I'll give you my honest thoughts on it. Um, because that's what I'm here for. I'm not here to blow smoke up anyone's arse or try and convince you to buy what you don't want. Um, 
3.7 volts is 24 watts. So let's see where we go. This may take a while to get it because as you might expect, the first the first thing I get out of this is mint. So I'll give it a couple of pulls to get the mint out of the way before I take my sort it out. Done. in the chocolate yet. We just uh another swig of tea. Cool, it's cool tea now. Was wiping up, obviously, but now it's gone cool. But it's still good job. Tea's still tea in it. So tea is still the best drink on the planet by far. Right, mint is backing off a little bit. Let's just um, take it up to 30 watts, which is 4.14 volts again, but I'll show you anyway. 30 watts, 4.14 volts. There you go. I'm going to go up to five volts, but I think I'm going to be going down again. Isn't it? It's not helping the flavours. So five volts is 43.8 watts. No, going up, up the wattage range. Now it tastes like catfish smell. Um, we're going to make a 35 watts. 30 watts. Go back to 30 watts. I'm going to put a bit more on. Because. I need to. Initial mint, and I'm not a great mint or menthol lover as it as it is, as an ingredient. Uh, it can be completely over the top. I've had some some juices that have been just air passage cleaners. You know, they're just not nice today. Uh, but I have found some mint chocolate chips and mint chocolates that have tasted great. Mm. Thirty watts. That's better. See, this is a, a lower wattage. I can go back to seven. Now the coil has got. So the no coil has got. So we'll put out 3.7, 24 watts. Thirty seems to be the sweet spot for this. Mm. 
Mint. Yeah, 30 watts is definitely a sweet spot for this particular use. I've got the mint. I've got a bit of chocolate. On my lips, I've got chocolate. Custom. Mm. Only what you want. This is a, seems to be quite a complex juice. I'm sure they had some problems getting it right. Um, but, got that kind of chocolatey custardy aftertaste. The mint calmed down quite a lot. Now my tongue's got used to it. Um, you know it's still running. Yeah. If you go for this, if you like mint chocolate, if you like mint chocolate, and you like custard baits, give it a go. Um, four quid for 10 mil, you're not gonna lose much. Um, but what I would say is, as you've seen with this, they don't all play at the same level. So. You're going to get it. Um, don't vape it at what you normally vape at and then rise it off because it tastes shit. Just play around with your temperatures to get the sweet spot. For me, on this coil, 30 watts. And at 30 watts, you get a what's now become a Chop now I've got chocolate. It's become a chocolate mint with that custody. It's not it's hard to explain. It's probably yeah. It's more or less what it says. It, it's a it's a chocolate mint. Or a mint chocolate with custard and it's pleasant and that will go in a tank and I will bake that some more in a tank and see how it changes so yeah that's me done thank you very much indeed for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video. <clears throat> I hope it hasn't been too long and boring for you. Oh, God. Um, <clears throat> what the hell's going on here? Yeah, I do apologise. So I'm, I'm having some, some teething problems with my new setup. So please bear with me. Um, if you're new to the channel, the, the videos are not all this fragmented, but um, thank you very much indeed for watching, as always. Um, if you like the video, leave me a like down there. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe down there or up there. Um, and I've got more juice to do, quite a few more juices to do. I've also got a shitload of hardware to do. Uh, mods, tanks, drippers, RTAs, RDAs, RBAs, <laughs> any other acronym you can think of. Um, so, yeah, have yourselves a good day. 
more importantly, have yourselves a damn good day. And I will see you folks in the next one.